Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 13 of Haven Cave Block. Uh, today we jump into power at just to make something else. I wonder if you can figure it out. Let's get into the episode. All right, guys. I'm not sure where we're going to get today, but I have an idea where I want to go. Uh, first off, uh, I'm going to need some snow. So to get snow, it's just uh, water around a pure daisy. Uh, so I'm going to make these four corners, well, those three corners right there, water. And while that's being turned into snow, uh, I want to make an alchemical catalyst for this. And to do that, you know what? Do, do I have any coal in here? No. Uh, okay, well, uh, to do that, we're going to need a, a couple blaze rods. In this pack, there is a recipe for blaze rods using blaze powder. It's very expensive, but, uh, you know, at least you can get the blaze rods. Uh, there we go. Now we've got two brewing stands to make the alchemical catalyst. We need one mana pearl and four living rock, which we should easily have in here. All right. So now we can click. Where, where, where'd you come from? You're you're not supposed to be here. Uh, now that we've got the snow here, we can uh, well break it super quick with the shovel. Get oh, we're at eight balls, so that should be twelve, which should make. Three snow. We might think it's one snow block per ice, and I want four ice. So I need one more thing of water. I have not put that away yet. I, I meant to put that away, but uh, there was something I wanted to show you guys with that before I did. So give that a little bit of time. And now with the alchemical catalyst, we just break this uh, dirt block here, place it underneath this pool, and now you can see the pattern in the pool. If we toss these snow blocks in there, we get ice. Okay. Uh, the reason why I want ice is I want to make ice seeds and the reason why i want ice seeds is i want to make sure i can make some basalt making sure i'm saying those words correctly my editor just said i just said that not correct oh i did say it All right, we've got the four of these, and I'm not going to leave this alchemical catalyst in here. I'm going to break it, uh, put dirt back down. We'll set the alchemical catalyst in here just in case we need it ever again, which we will. I have no doubt we're going to need it uh, again. Now, yes, I wanted to make seeds. This is the place I make seeds at. If you right-click these besant containers, you can pull out the remaining uh, essences in there. And as long as they're not ever full in the containers, we can put them away that way. We'll just tell us to rest in here. And let's make some seeds. 
simple, quick seed recipe. Uh, and everything. Wish there was like a way to just have a wrench that we can right click that and it automatically uh, picks it up for us. Now I'm going to put these in here with these excess bows and stuff. No, it's in one of these drawers. Here it is. Here it is. All right, that. We'll have to re replace that one. Right, let's break this and place it in the proper spot. All right. Uh, I know you guys are like, why, why Malcor are you showing us these seeds? We already know how to make the seeds. Because, well, just because you know how to make the seeds, I, I like to show you guys. Me, uh, honestly, making the seeds here. Uh, especially, oh, I forgot to mention, I've also moved my game over to a server where I'm an operator, uh, an op one, so that, that's why you see all of the toggle commands up here. All right. The reason behind it is so like if I'm off for the day or two between episodes for work and such, uh, I can build up resources. All right, I need a hopping botany pot. Which is two of those. And five of these and to make the clay if I remember correctly we can make the clay already using water essence and dirt essence to get 24 so two of those two water And we just put them in the proper place. We get the 24. We can get our five of these that we need. And we will have enough of those. So we'll toss them into the Emerald Furnace. <clears throat> to make our hopping botany pot. Alright. Uh... Two of these, two of these, one ender pearl, and this. So let's make the hopping botany pot. Got to first make the pot. <clears throat> I forgot to make the hopper. There we go. Hopping botany pot. Botany pot. This. With this. Like, since we can kill the nether or the wither as much as we want now, 
making the ultra hot hopping pot and pots is the way to go. Oh, we had a botany a hopping botany pot already. Oh well. Um, I'm looking for my item pipes. Self fluid pipes in there, but. Did I use all my item pipes up? Yes, I did. So. Uh, Roppers, right? At pipes. With a Z. Because it's got to be cool. Yeah, it's just droppers, so. Right. Get a couple of those. This iron redstone item. And we need a farmland. So let's, uh, you know what, we'll go with the Prudentium here. Because why not, right? That, that, and that gives us the Prudentium farmland. You know, simple, easy to set up. Um, Prudentium and the ice seeds. <clears throat> so once we get some ice, we'll be good. We'll be good. Okay. Now that that is done, on to what I really wanted to work on today is some power. Uh, I want to get power going and since we already have infinite lava started, I'm thinking the magmators there will be the ideal thing to make. Just putting that away. Right. And to make the magmators, uh, I'm probably not saying that correctly. Uh, we're going to need a lot of this derelict paste, which is coal, clay, and lava. So I am going to take three buckets here. Get three buckets of lava. Grab these ice shards out of here. That that's not part of the magnator thing. It's just I wanted to get them into their uh, storage. Uh, get some clay. So we're gonna make a little bit more clay. And. I can remember that it goes like that, okay? And coal. Okay, more than enough coal. Uh, more than enough clay. And just enough of this to get started. Okay, so we have to make the starter one first. To make this, we need 
basic uh, the ability to make basic capacitors, which is some redstone and iron. We're gonna make. I think three basic capacitors to start with. Uh, I'm only going to make one magnator to start with. You know what? Uh, let's make two magnators. Okay, so, oh, we need to start with the starters. So let's see here. We need some of these casings, which needs these rods. Rods require iron bars. Uh, like so. And with us getting into power, we should be getting into a better storage system here soon. Uh, I want two stacks like that, and we can rotate it twice to get two stacks like that. Alright, so now we're going to need four of these. Three, yeah, four of those. No more, more. Uh, five... Six of these. Let's make eight for good measure. Okay, we've got our two basic magnators. Uh, I am now going to turn them into the basic tier. Sorry. We had our starters, now we have our basic. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to need is... Uh, some of these rods here. Which is going to need more horizontal rods. So hard to see this in dark mode, I think. Um, so we should have some crystals here. Here we go. And I want to make. Two of those? Yeah, I want to make two of these basic rods. Uh, they do not stack. And we need one of the other ones that is uh, I'm going to need some glass here. We're going to need another Timmy. Uh, there we go. I knew I had glass. I hate not having glass. All right, and you see that we need three horizontal derelict rods. We can take the rods that are uh, vertical and turn them horizontal. So with this in here, we've got the, the energy orbs and two of these starter rods. Okay, these require block supports. Eight. Yeah, eight 
of these. Okay, and now we should be able to turn. Oh, I didn't make enough of the stuff. Uh, we have more derelict paste, so we can easily get uh what another set of those rods made up rotate uh, this way okay so we should be able to now make a another one of those casings after we grab a little bit more iron. There we go. Which now we can turn the starter one into an uh, basic. Uh, power uses a lot of these stuff made from the uh, energized orb and uh, these rods here. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to need a lot of it for what we want with the philosopher uh, to do with the philosopher stuff. All right, so first I want to make some more, uh, I want to make some energy pipes. Uh, it should be relatively simple. Just need six iron. There we go. And I will take some fluid pipes. This is not where this is going permanently. This is just a temporary solution. Um, no, no, you do not go there. That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Uh, I'm going to place this here. Uh, I'm going to place the two magnators on top of this and you see that they're already starting to produce power from the lava that's getting flown flowed into it and now we can break this oak trap door for a moment okay guess it's got to go back We'll place those two energy uh, pipes like so. Uh, wrench them so they're both extracting. And we're going to set the lasers. Oh, do laser... Do, do these energy rods not set one energy pipes? Okay, so I just learned something new. In this pack, they do not attach to those energy pipes. Which is fine. Power does have its own cable. So, at power. Uh, like I said, they do have their own cables in here. There's the starter cable, and we could actually, I think, just jump right up to the basic cable. Yeah. We just need basic pad, uh, capacitor, derelict rods, and iron bars. Uh, it looks like we have... We have, uh, do we have any capacitors still left? No. So we're going to have to make some capacitors. 
Uh, just one set. And once we, oh, there is going to be so much rejoicing once we get past this stage. Uh, iron. <clears throat> and we can make a 12 pack of the basic energy cables. Okay, so those automatically will pull from these. And we should be able to now, yeah, we can set those rods right there like so. Um, we'll set this down here. And now, I'm going to need basalt, which is another essence and uh, ice. So, we're going to need a lot of this uh, basalt. So, I need to look here real quick at the recipe uh, for these compact machine walls. It takes smooth basalt uh, and to make smooth basalt you just melt it through a furnace, bulk smelt, Okay, so I will be right back after we smelt some of this down. I'll probably do a couple stacks. Okay, guys. Uh, got those smelted into smooth basalt now. And we come over here to these lovely lasers. And uh, we stick five of these in here and the way we do it is putting them in one at a time by right clicking and I think it's five right one two three four five six oh it's six at a time and then these will push laser off and uh, after a little bit we get compact machine walls. We're gonna need a uh, eight, 16, 32 compact machine walls. So I'm gonna stand here and do this for a little bit manually to try to get the 32 of these because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me just repetitively craft these. I will be right back. Okay, it only took me about a couple of minutes to get that done, but now we're going to need some netherite and plenty of it. Uh, pretty much four blocks of uh, netherite. As you can see here, we've already got three of them done. I was waiting for the netherite to, or the ancient debris, netherite dust, uh, the ancient debris stuff to be made. So we can take this, surround it by these compact machine walls, and we can get the maximum size compact machines. All right, so that is good for that. And now we're going to need, uh-oh, did I not make any living wood between episodes? And that, that's my ultimate question now to myself is, did I not make the living wood that I needed? Um... I did not. So let's get some 
living wood to make these cores. I, I completely blinked that I needed cores. And to make the cores, you just need, it's right over here, right in this one right here. I had it setting there just for this. Why I knew exactly where it was. Uh, you need terracil ingots along living wood to make Elven Gateway cores. We need a total of uh, four Elven Gateway cores. So this should be almost done. There we go starting to change. Wait until it completely switches that all over. There we go. And I will get some more of this down. And yeah, we just need one more set of this. So, it just be one moment, guys. And just like that, a minute passed without you guys even noticing. And we got the rest of the living wood that we need. Place back up. Yo, Daisy. Um, so we'll make one more four right now. And do that, it's like so. And now we can request our transmutation table. Transmutation table is our game changer. We can come over here, set this on this back wall like so. We can stick stuff like living rock, living wood, clay, nether stars, fish stew, stone hollows, oak logs, pretty much all of our stuff right up in here. Uh, and get as much of it as we have EMC for out. So like Uh, as long as it has EMC. Terra still does not, but we can get the power stuff in there, the item pipes, the energy cables. Philosopher's Stone does not. Uh, oak trapdoors, pipe wrench. We'll teach you that, but we're not going to put you in there. The diamond shovel can go in there. We'll teach you that. You t to teach it, you put it in here or right here. Uh, you can have the crafting table, the block, the diamond wand, the iron pickaxe, pure daisies. You notice that clears up a lot of our inventory. Buckets. So what I'm going to do between this episode and next episode is take all of this stuff that has EMC on it and pretty much teach teach it to the system so I'll, I'll be busy for, for a bit so until next time if you enjoyed this episode hit the like button if you dislike this episode go right ahead and hit the dislike and leave a comment down below why you disliked it uh, I really like to hear your guys' viewpoints. I... If you have not done so yet, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out this channel grow. And until next time, later gators.